Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to show you a new tomahawk I've been customizing, so please keep watching. I ordered this off of Amazon. It is a cold steel pipe hawk, and it's just like the one you've seen before. But I'm gonna do something different with this one. Uh, customer who I'm doing it for just told me to surprise him. So I talked with his brother and found out he has a nickname and he likes fishing. So I'm gonna address both of those topics and the way I fix this up. The handle is uh, where I'm gonna start. It's just a design I kind of came up with myself. I haven't seen it on any handles yet, but I'm hoping it turns out as nice as I imagine it will. His nickname is Ox, and that's from back in his weightlifting days, which I later found out once I gave him the tomahawk. But for the uh, the fishing side of things, uh, I wanted to be a little bit, I didn't want to be too cliche. And it is a tomahawk, so I kind of wanted to have somewhat of an Indian vibe, so I'm going to do an old uh, birch canoe. I picked up this all from somewhere. And I've had this here little micro burner that I use for camping and hiking. It seems to work out perfect. It works faster than the uh, soldering iron that I was using. I've yet to try out an actual wood burning kit, but this is what I have for now. I also like the fact that being able to get this so hot, it, it actually burns into the wood a little bit and leaves, leaves a pretty deep groove compared to the, the soldering iron, which just burns the surface. I like having that rigid feel and gives it better grip on the handle.
I don't really like the plain black finish on this tomahawk, so I'm going to go ahead and strip it down and uh, use some gun bluing. I've never done the gun bluing before, but I'm really curious to see how it turns out. I've seen other people uh, post pictures and, and videos of, about doing it themselves. It seems like a pretty easy process, so I'm about to find out. I went to Walmart and I picked up this stripper spray, so I wanted to see how fast it worked. I ended up having to let this sit in here overnight and then just move over to work on the handles. A friend of mine told me about this Danish oil. It's a stain and a uh, protector. I really like using it on uh, my other projects like tables and shelves and things like that. As it turns out, it works really good on handles also. I put a coat on this handle and I was uh, went ahead and did my other handle at the same time. So I coated it and let it sit for 15 minutes uh, for three coats. I'm going to let these handles dry and then I'm going to switch over to the other tomahawk head and that should be the last part. The spray didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. It did take off the outer coat of finish after some scrubbing with this little wire brush. But it didn't get it all the way down to bare metal. So uh, I'll put it on the wire brush to finish it off. However, I think that would be a good finish as it is right now. But I'm going to go ahead and finish with the gun blue instead of leaving it this way. This reacted a whole lot faster than I thought it was going to, and a lot darker. But I still like it better than black paint. I really like how this turned out. It's really dark. It's it's almost as dark as the black, but it's got a still has that navy blue hint to it, and it's I like it better. Now all I got to do is sharpen it and hang it on the handle. letting these dry just a little longer in the sun I went ahead and hung the head on the handle set it down real good with a sledgehammer but I forgot to video that part so here's the finished product
enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.